Bruin fans, welcome back to this week's episode of Bruin Banter, Spring Break Edition. Our special guest this week is P. Finally. Hey, I'm so happy and excited to be back. Me too. You know, everybody's been asking, when's P's episode going to come out? Not only they were waiting, I was waiting too. <laughs> Well, now it's finally here. Woohoo! <laughs> right now we're in Orange County, just enjoying spring break. Oh yeah. We just finished Pac-12s, and the nice thing about that is that we finished our finals before we left for Pac-12s, so now we just get to relax. Yeah, and hang out a little, tan a little, since the weather here in Cali is so nice. And we just get to relax our minds a little bit before we have to start spring quarter. <laughs> yeah. So this past weekend we competed in West Valley, Utah at the Pac-12 Championships. And we won, so that was pretty exciting. Yay. And it was the first time we finally put together four events and hit each event solidly. And, you know, we still could do better. Like, we still have yeah. so much room to grow and so much room to improve that it's, it's crazy. And I think it was really important that we hit Vault, which was our first event, and we just hit it. And this was just such a good start to all the other events. Yeah, it was. I think it really got us excited because normally Vault's not our greatest or strongest event. But, but this weekend it was. It was. We did awesome on Vault and I think it was a really good kickstarter yeah. to the entire meet. With that being said, let's get into the meet recap. As we said before, Vault was really strong this weekend, but this girl over here was the strongest. She became the Pac-12 Vault champion with Michaela Skinner and she hit that Vault, stuck it perfectly. I'm still waiting for the 10, but... <laughs> I'm sure it'll come. I'm sure it'll come too, yeah. It was pretty exciting. I was so excited after the vault. Yeah, it was it, so pretty, so really, good. It really didn't feel that good in the air. And then the floor was just there and, oh, okay, we're not moving. That's how you should do it. Yep. <laughs> Moving on to bars, Kyla is the Pac-12 bars champion with a 10.0, which is insane because the practice day before that, she kind of had a rough go warming up on bars. Yeah. It was a little bit different being on podium, makes the equipment a little bit bouncier and she just had a little bit of a hard time adjusting, but she really brought it back and yeah. got a 10. And as we know, Kyla Russ is our boss. She so. is. <laughs> On to the balance beam. We had two Pac-12 champions from the Bruins, Grace Glenn, Caitlin Ohashi, both with a score of 9.95, and Grace being a leadoff in getting that score. It's so great seeing her on beam. She actually hits every single routine in practice, in mm -hmm. the meets, and she's so pretty doing that. One of the best beam workers in the country. Yeah, I think it's really important that we have her as a leadoff since she's so solid. Mm -hmm. The final rotation was floor, and I feel like I say this every time, but it was just an epic dance party. It was so fun. It was actually so much fun. And then it was on podium, so you feel like you're on a stage even more than you usually are. Mm -hmm. And just to perform, and then it's also bouncy, so it was great. Yeah. And we also had two Pac-12 champions alongside Michaela Skinner, all scoring perfect tens. Kyla Ross, Caitlin Ohashi, incredible. Yeah. Kyla, second week in a row, scoring a perfect ten. She's on really on a roll. She is. She is our boss. <laughs> and Caitlin debuting her new floor routine with all women empowerment, moves, and music. It was amazing. I love it. I already practiced all the dance moves. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so I hope it looks good on the side of the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I saw a video where you could see all of us in the background and we're doing the. That's my favorite part. Me too. Yeah, That's the best I love part. it. Not only did we have a Bruin win, but Kyla Ross was voted Pac-12 Gymnast of the Year, Caitlin Pac-12 Specialist of the Year, and Ms. Val was the Coach of the Year. Amazing. Just triple, <laughs> just triple threat right there. So many awards. So the week that we were supposed to interview you, your family was in town. Yeah. How excited were you to have them with you? I was so happy because it was the first time they actually saw a college meet, and I think it's so different to all the meets I've competed before. So it was just great that they came and there was so much audience there and then the Bruins did so well and I did well too so mm -hmm. I was just so happy they were here. I know you did amazing this past weekend too 995 on floor. Thank you. I feel like I finally got it. I don't know what was wrong the beginning of the season but now I'm like I got it. Good yeah I know you've definitely like have been more confident lately out there. Yeah I feel like in the beginning I was just comparing myself to last year because it went so well and I was scared to not reach my potential, 
but then I realized, hey, just go for it and feel it and go big, mm -hmm. and it actually worked out. No, I for sure had the same feelings, like at the beginning of the season, comparing myself to last year because getting a perfect 10 yeah. on the floor was just something so amazing and I was trying to strive for that when I can't push it too hard. Yeah, and I remember we talked about it mm -hmm. that you felt the same way and I think that also helped just like knowing that somebody else feels like that and just figuring out what we both need yeah. was good. Yeah, I think we kind of grew out of that together. Yeah. <laughs> P over here loves to go exploring around mm -hmm. LA. You love it. Yeah, I feel like last year I explored so many things already. I thought I'm out of things, but I'm not. So I already, this spring break, I used the time to explore more. Went to West Hollywood, went to the Abbott Kenny Avenue, went to the beach, now I'm in Laguna, went to different beaches there. I tried to pack it all in. <laughs> Those days I have off and can just relax and see all the different areas of LA. That's the great thing about LA. There's so much you can do here that you can just never get tired of it. That's true. And also all the different styles, I think it's so interesting. Like this area is more cute, the other area is cool. Then it's like beachy, but then there are mountains. It's just so fascinating to me. Yeah, it is, it's awesome. Yeah. Now on to Twitter questions. This one comes from at Jackie Beaulieu, and she asks, in what ways is attending UCLA different than if you had attended university in Germany? Well, I don't know, because I haven't been to a German university. I think that's the reason why I want to do grad school in Germany because I want to see the difference and I know a lot of people or a lot of my friends are at home and I really like their lifestyle being in university and I feel like it is different. I can't really tell in what way but I just feel like I want to experience both since I have this great opportunity to do experience yeah. both. Might as well honestly. Yeah. This one comes from at Lauren underscore Prowitz and she asks what's your favorite meat hairstyle? Oh, that's a good question, because I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good question for you, because I'm like, struggling with what is my favorite hairstyle. I like the mohawk thingy. Me, that's my favorite. I love I them. also like the double buns, but Miss Vell doesn't really like the double buns, but I want to bring them back. And then I also like the slick ponytail. Well, regionals and nationals are both two days, so you can try four different hairstyles. And I also want to com come up with a new hairstyle, so if you have any ideas, let me know. I'm going to put it on my hair. <laughs> <laughs> this one comes from at Rachel Prosser, and she asks, do you think and give yourself gymnastics cues in German or English? That's an interesting question. It actually varies from different events, from different days. When I first came, I actually started telling my cues in German, but then I got corrections from the coaches here in English, so I just adopted. And I feel like now it's a mix, depending on how I feel, depending on what I tell myself. And sometimes on vault, the first word is German, the second one is English, so it's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah. But also, I tend to talk in my sleep, and I have my roomie savvy. And she sometimes hears me talking in my sleep and she said, I don't know what you're talking about. You always speak in German. I'm like, okay, well, I don't know. This was the beginning of freshman year. And then end of freshman year, my dad came and I slept at his place. And then I talked in my sleep again and it was English. And he was like, wow, it's so fascinating. You speak in English now. I'm like, whoa, how does this work? How does my brain work like yeah, that? Yeah, that's crazy. But I think it's cool because I feel a little American now. Nice. <laughs> Teach me something in German. Yeah. What about your German accent? So my favorite is, Hello, I'm Steve Felicia. Hello, I'm Steve Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I really want them to speak more German, but it's so hard to teach them because German is a pretty hard language. It is a hard language. And I want to convince them to take German in school because they are wondering, what language should I take? I'm like, take German, I can help you. That's Maybe. true. Too bad. I already <laughs> took Spanish, but. I know, you're pretty good in Spanish too. Thank you. But maybe the <laughs> freshmen. German. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for being on the show, P. Thanks for having me in this nice sunny area. It was so nice to have you on. You are one of the most highly requested Bruin oh, Banter guests. Uh, thanks, Bruin fans. So the Bruin fans will be happy about this one. I'm happy too. <laughs> this weekend, your Bruins are traveling to Ann Arbor, Michigan for our regionals. The format's a little bit different this year. Competition is three days long. We'll be competing two days. Two times being on a stage. Mm -hmm. So we will be competing in semifinal number two on Friday, April 5th at 4 p.m. Pacific time. It will be live streamed, but we will put out more details coming soon. 
look for the details guys thanks for watching everybody until next time bye